Barnum. Next ball, Ailé. Tony Ivory Coast second appearance, he's bang on. Algeria. Algeria will then go to Group C. With because England they couldn't go in South Africa, USA. we've got Algeria. Please, Simpiwe, could you pick up a ball from Pod C? It's their first appearance in 86. C3. And they will be England's C3. second again, game in Cape Town together in on group, Friday the 18th. We have now still Cameroon, Ghana, Chile, Paraguay and Uruguay again, Aile. If it's a non-African team, it will go with South England Africa, Stark, Mexico in the altitude, a. And then go to sea level for the second two Germany games. Germany and Australia. Uruguay, Uruguay. The organizer and the winner of the first World Cup is in Group A with South Africa and Mexico. David. Now. England, USA, and Algeria, and Slovenia. Slovenia. Slovenia in Group C with England, USA, Algeria. Played them in Group September. 2-1. Frank Lampard from the spot. Jermaine Defoe. Lubjankic, I think, scored for Slovenia. C4. C4, Algeria, Slovenia, in Polokwane on the England 13th don't of want June. Portugal in Group D. Now, Aile, the team coming is a team to play in Group. So let's recap the result of the draw. Group A, South Africa, Mexico, Uruguay, France. Group B, Argentina, Nigeria, Korea Republic, and Greece. Group C, England. USA, Algeria and Slovenia. Group D, Germany, Australia, Serbia, Ghana. Group E, Netherlands, Denmark, Japan and Cameroon. Group F, Italy, Paraguay, New Zealand and Slovakia. Group G, Brazil, Korea DPR, La Côte d'Ivoire, Portugal. Group H, Spain, Switzerland, Honduras and Chile. And Matthew. A world. I mean, you are playing for the opening game in Mexico. You have also Uruguay and France. What do you think? Yeah, undoubtedly a, a very tough group, but we didn't expect an easy one. Uh, but I must say, I don't envy the Mexicans who are going to be subjected to uh, 90,000 vuvuzelas come the opening day. <laughs> <laughs> David, England, USA, and then Algeria, Slovenia. Yeah, I think it's a very interesting group. Um, they're, they're all hard games at this point. Um, when you reach the World Cup, you know, as a country, we're just very honoured to be here and very honoured to be playing part of this uh, historical time in, in Africa. Thanks, David. Aile, you have been drawing the uh, African teams. Do you think you help them in their groups? Or? Oh, it was wonderful. Uh, I'm so happy to be here today and just uh, good luck for Africa. This is a uh, this is a good opportunity, you know, just to uh, uh, to put you know the trophy here. Thanks, John. I mean, it will be a great World Cup. There are really good groups, and you will for sure go there. Yeah, it's it, uh, it's going to be a great World Cup. I think there's a couple of tough groups there, and you know, I'm pretty happy that we're going to have some good practice for the time we hit the semi-finals and finals. Nigeria <laughs> with two Portsmouth players. Uh, Nadir Belhaj and uh, Hassan Yebdar. So, interesting games, but oh, very much in England's hands couldn't, here. Couldn't, it? couldn't yeah. have gone any better, really, for England. I, th I think privately, be absolute, as Alan says, be absolutely mm. delighted with that. Well, let's have a look um, where and when England will be playing uh, their particular fixtures. They'll open up, of course, on the 12th of June. That's the day after the opening uh, day of the 2010 World Cup. That's in Rustenburg. Now, that's the place, of course, that Capello yeah. uh, would like his training camp to be. So that will how, how good is that be for them? Yeah. very useful. How good is that? Uh, the second game will be in uh, Cape Town, so they'll have to come down to, uh, obviously, sea level for, for that particular match against Algeria. And uh, finally, they'll play against Slovenia on 23rd of June, um, also on the coast at Port uh, Elizabeth. Um, so, I mean, all games that um, you would see England uh, doing well in. 
I would absolutely see them doing well in, in all games. I mean, hey, you've been into played in World Cups and you've been on the outside of it where they, they, all the pundits and experts yeah. will say, well, they, they're, they're absolutely <laughs> delighted with the group. But I think I don't think anyone can say anything else with that group, Gary, to be honest. USA, Algeria, Slovenia. If you had said that to, um, to Fabio this morning, I think he would have snapped your hand off and took that without, an absolute, without a doubt. Yeah, and if you've already got your... Um World Cup wall chart. Um, <laughs> the first two Brilliant. games kick off in the evening and the last one's in the afternoon, so look to get your day off when it matters. I think okay. the thing about it as well is that two of, two of the teams in England's group qualified via the playoffs, mm. which, you know, again, is obviously yeah, they can't be the strongest. And yeah. Mind you, not, Slovenia, not, not the USA, no, no, by the way, the... they beat Spain. In the, in the semi final, of course. In, in the, the, the Confederations Cup. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Clint Dempsey with the um, all important goal. Fulham, of course. Yeah. It was a Spanish team that played non-stop football though for 12 months. Mm. It's about the only game they have lost yeah, in, exactly. in the last few years. Yeah. But um, yeah. I think it's good that we don't have to wait long as well. I mean, the tournament yeah. kicks off on the 11th, and England are straight in the next day on the 12th, so the tournament will really start buzzing yeah. then. As you mentioned, um, England, uh, uh, Algeria did qualify via a playoff. Uh, it was um, against Egypt. This was the uh, winning goal. Game was played in the Sudan. Oh, we've done well getting these pitches up so soon, eh? It's incredible effort. Brilliant, from the boys eh? Upstairs. Fantastic. Yeah. We'd never this played. was actually from 1935. <laughs> yeah. <that> was <laughs> was working yeah, that yeah, game. Yeah, no, be careful. <laughs> we've never played Algeria. Ah, you see, never lets you down, does no, it? Never play them. Never ever. Never played them in a friendly or in the World Cup. But we have, of course, played Slovenia this season, beating them in a friendly. Mm. Incredible. This is Slovenia. They beat Russia, yeah. On the away goal, John, wasn't it? On the Which, away goal, yeah. Never a surprise, really, wasn't it? Yeah. Scored very, very late in Moscow. They yeah. were 2-0 down. Russia had two sent off, didn't they, in that yeah. game, yeah. Big shock, that was. It was a real shock, because Hiddink's team were a, looked real favourites to win this playoff, didn't they? I, I saw the majority of the first game, and Russia should have won comfortably. Mm. But... Uh, Slovenia have got the little fella from West Brom, haven't they, Robert Corin, from the uh, championship team. So I think, I think it's great that, that England's first game is where it, look, where it looks like yeah. the base is going to be. Yeah. It really, I think that yeah. really does make a big difference. Yeah, I th think you're absolutely right. I suppose what we're really looking at now, you would fancy England should get through from that group, is who they meet next. And uh, they'll play, of course, either the winners or the team in second place from Group D. Now, that's a, a stronger-looking group, would you say, Alan? <laughs> It is. It, uh, it. I mean, just when that was drawn out, we were saying that is a very, very tough group, possibly the toughest, but then Brazil, Korea, Ivory Coast and Portugal was drawn out. But, yeah, it is one of the, the toughest groups. The old England-Germany so, again, who knows, well, in the last yeah, 16. Who knows, yeah. Yeah. It is a tougher group, that one, though. Serbia, Ghana and Germany, you'd, you'd expect to do.